Welcome aboard, everybody. This is Wednesday Night Basketball of the NBA on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Los Angeles Lakers going up against the Phoenix Suns. With Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony alongside, I'm Kevin Harlan at the table. And from the sidelines, it's our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. And here's what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Thursday, they'll be matching up against Kevin Durant and the Phoenix Suns. Then on Sunday, they'll head out on the road to face the Kings in Sacramento. So the opening lineup for the Suns. The big three for the Suns, all on the four. Booker and Beal as the guards, and KD at the four. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's a Kogi in at the three, the small forward. And for Los Angeles, at the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Prince in at the three. And still so much, Greg, to learn about these teams. When do we get a sense of a team's true identity? Well, not this early in the season. I'd say at least a quarter of the way through it. That's when you kind of get a sense of a squad's chemistry. Here we go. So the Lakers win the tip. James against KD. Here's Russell. Rebound by the Suns. And this matchup with the Lakers, it's their first meeting of the season. And going back to last year, this series was an even split. Now, here's Nurkic. Here's Booker. Lock at six. The Suns need to get a shot off. That three off the mark. Booker against Russell. James outside from deep three-point land. And the rebound by Nurkic. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. He dishes it to Nurkic. Nurkic setting the pick for Beal. Back to Nurkic. And finished off by Nurkic. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. Passes it to Reeves. High post, Davis. Shoots over Nurkic. And again, no good by the Lakers. And usually that's a bucket for him. But look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. And stolen by Prince. And it's the Lakers on the break. And the slam dunk by Russell. I love the spatial awareness from Russell. Saw how much room he had and just took it aggressively. Booker against Russell. Booker left side. A beautiful reverse layup. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Green by James. Prince looking around. Out to Russell. Let's it go from deep. Gets the three point of the ball. Russell's got five points so far. Good form on the jump shot. Russell's ability to stretch the floor makes him even more valuable. And Richard, with D'Angelo Russell, he's a guy who can do just about anything in the backcourt. That's right, Kev. If you need him to be a true floor general, he can do that in spurts. And if you need him to be a score first offensive catalyst, that's his sweet spot. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And an early swat like that can really set the tone. Now the shooters will be feeling his presence. Here's Booker. Against Golden State, he was really on his game. Clock at four over Russell. Money from the wing. Booker with one of the most effortless strokes you'll ever see. The Lakers have gone two or six in the field. Outside, Russell. Outside, Davis. Pass to Reeves. Prince in the post. And on Nurkic. Prince kicks to James. Good 
Any nice assist from Prince. We talk about it a lot, how consistent James has become from range over a full season. Outside, Beal. Pass to Nurkic. Here's a Kobe. The pass to KD. A three-pointer is right on target. And Durant plays with real competitive fire, which makes him so important. Russell passes to Davis. Out to Russell. Lakers working the ball around now. Davis dishes to LeBron. And it's Davis with the jam. It's so hard trying to keep Davis off the glass. He's just so big, so strong, and has the athleticism. Here's Booker. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Oh, Richard, the speed with which Devin Booker has accumulated points in his career is absolutely stunning. Yeah, he's the sixth youngest player to hit 12,000 career points. And trust me, that list has Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant. I mean, this guy is a true natural scorer. Putting the ball in the hoop is like second nature for Devin Booker. That one misses for Booker. An unfortunate struggle for this Lakers team has been injuries, Richard. Staying healthy is the key to any team's success. But the past few seasons, the Lakers have had some really big hits. Luck just wasn't on their side in that regard. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Let's take a look at numbers for Norkic. Last year, getting it done. Averaged about 13 points a game. Nine rebounds and three assists. And to have a player who can fill it up like him coming in off the bench, what an asset. He's crucial to the success of their second unit because he can keep that offense rolling. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. Give some love to KD there, making the unselfish play. Passes it to Reeves. Back to James. Prince outside. His handle might be an underrated part of James's game. Totally throwing off the defender with that move. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Looking at the last game for the Lakers, it was a loss to the Nuggets in Ball Arena. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys are defending obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Well, they weren't fighting through screens. Their closeouts and rotations were late. You name it, and let's just say they didn't do it on defense. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Gordon checked in for Phoenix. And now, courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here are the teams that led the NBA in block shots last year. The Suns fifth. It was an intimidating brand of defense they played. They sent the message that if you were going to get your points in the paint, you were going to have to work for them. Here's Russell. Five points in the game. LeBron outside. Back to Russell. And the slam dunk by Russell. High IQ pass by LeBron. He reads the floor and gets it to the open shooter. Suns lean by three. To the paint. Here's Booker. And the dunk by Booker. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA. The lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Prince with the ball. It's Gordon picking him up. Count that bucket. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Booker finds Nurkic. Outside, Beal shoots the three. 
Can't hit that one. For Los Angeles, they've gone 7-12 from the field here in the first quarter. Russell against Bia. Here's Davis. And the rebound by Nurkic. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Nurkic a screen on Russell. And Beal kicks to Nurkic outside Gordon. Nurkic setting the pick for Gordon. And it's Phoenix scoring again. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. Now here's Prince. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Denver. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Phoenix. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And it seems they've take also break. put take an break. emphasis on Good moving shot. the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. And the first one drops. Lots of excitement around the Suns. A big reason, Richard, their new owner. Yeah, taking over in 2023. This new owner played college basketball, winning a national title, and has a great mind for the game, and already has made big changes in the organization. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Lakers. Grayson Allen's checked in for the Suns. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Well, as long as the Lakers have a healthy Anthony Davis, RJ, they will be a factor, won't they? Yes, this is why they traded so much to New Orleans to get him, Kev. AD is a top five guy in the league when he is healthy. Davis can dominate on both ends, and it is rare to see that. And the Lakers with possession here after Devin Booker missing on that last three-pointer. Back to Russell. Rook catch against Davis. Pass to Reed. And that one falls, coming off of Davis' speed. Reeves has got it all tied up now for the Lakers. Booker the bounce pass. Durant for three. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Prince outside. There's the pick. Out to Russell. Shot clock at five. Over Booker. And Russell gets it to go. Russell's got nine. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Now, I understand that that shot didn't go down, but they will take that look every trip down the floor. Pass to Reeves. Vanderbilt with it. The Lakers moving the ball around. Davis, the pass to Russell. Puts up a deep three. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. The Suns trailing. The pass to Allen. Booker outside. To stop the run. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. He is getting it done on the offensive end. Five buckets through seven shots. The Suns have gone 0 for 1 at the line. This is their second trip to the line tonight. And look back a season ago. They, they did a solid job at the line. About 79% of their free throws. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Hachimura is checked in for Torian Prince. Christie comes in for Austin Reed. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Russell. Last season GA, the Suns trading tons of picks, plus good young players, all for Kevin Durant. And then this summer, trading for Bradley Beal, it's clear they're going all in, constructing a super team to try and bring Phoenix its first NBA title. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. Goodness. Now here's Booker, 11 points in the game. And good that time. Booker's got 13 points. 
Look, they are in front right now because of him. He keeps draining these shots at a ridiculous clip. To the middle. Here's Davis. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And to put things simply, this has not been his quarter. Gordon finds ball. Booker outside. Over Kristen. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Out to the right wing. Vincent, the pass to Hachimura. And Gordon over to help. Here's Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. That's exactly what you want to see from AD. Using that length and that athleticism to cause problems. Booker against Christie. A nice shot by Booker. He's got 15. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. Now, here's Vanderbilt. He has yet to score. Stolen away. Here's Vincent. He's covered by Beal. Vincent's shot is good. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Now here's Beal, defended by Vincent. Booker, no good. LA's run 3-7 from three-point range in the first quarter. We've got 28 seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Hachimura. And it's off the back rim, no good. The Sun shooting an impressive 60% early. Booker outside. Bowl is screen on Christie. With three, Booker, good on the three-point shot. Booker's got 18 points in the game. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Suns ahead, up two. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. If you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. What stands out to you from the Suns in this one? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Well, let's see if they're able to keep it up. So far, their shot selection and ball movement has been on point. For the Phoenix Suns, they're coming off a good outing against the Warriors. So at Durant sitting on the bench. This is who Frank Vogel is out there. Bradley Beal is out there with Grayson Allen. Then there's Gordon. Then there's Bull. And it's Big Diop been at the four. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. LeBron with it. Coming off a 21-point game in his last outing. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And now let's take a moment to check out the stats for Beal. Great showing for him last season. He was around 23 points a game last year. Five assists and four rebounds. And you look at his huge role in their offense, a major contributor as far as putting up points. He's just a natural scorer and someone this offense leans on to help shoulder the load and lead the charge. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. The transfer of the Phoenix Suns last season to new ownership ended a tumultuous chapter for the team and for the league. 
The new leadership aggressively made the trade for Kevin Durant last year and for Bradley Beal this summer. It's a great roster, and the Suns' $4 billion sales price reflects the sense that this Phoenix market is one of the sleeping giants in the NBA. Kevin? I agree. On the rise. David, thanks. Lakers trail by five. You know, Greg, on a per-minute basis, Bull Bull is one of the better rebounders and shot blockers in the NBA. Yeah, and it's not all done on the inside. He grabs a lot of long rebounds, and he contests shots on the perimeter. This guy is more than capable out there. Now here's Beal after LeBron James's miss. Beal deciding where to go with it. Launches it. Phoenix, no good that time either. Los Angeles has gone 3-7 tonight from three-point territory. Passes it to Vincent. Shot from 12. No good from LeBron. Suns leading by five. Gordon inside. He's covered by Hachimura. Bates Diop misses. And so it's Hachimura who brings up the ball for Los Angeles. Nothing offensively yet from them in the second quarter. Here's Wood. Nothing on the board. Shot clock at six. Pass to Hachimura. Here's Vanderbilt. Again, the miss by the Lakers. Phoenix has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. James against Allen. Teardrop shot, and Beal lays it in. Beal's got the lead up to seven now for the Suns. And it's clear how confident Beal is. The closer he gets, the more his eyes light up trying to score. Here's Wood. Outside, James. They could use a bucket and finish off by Wood. Defensively, there's not much you can do once Wood gets to the rim. Too much size, too much athleticism. Now here's Beal. Tight defense on him. Here's Bowl. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Beal's got his third assist on the night. Lakers trail by seven. Pass to Wood. To the inside. Beal pulls it in. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Now here's Beal. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Down to five on the shot clock. Yep, that one goes in there. Beal's got 10 points. Butter. Even with the contact, Beal does not flinch. Good a screen on Beal. Here's Vincent. Good on the triple. Just a smooth operator from distance. They'll be tighter to him next time, I bet. Phoenix leading by six. High post Allen. Working on James, back to Allen. From the arc, a rebound by the Lakers. Vanderbilt's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. He may not have that traditional power forward build, but his bounce, well, that kind of levels the playing field. It's Beal on the wing, defended by Vincent. A jump hook, and he can't bank that one in. Lakers trail by four. LeBron drives in, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Hey, Richard, when you played with LeBron in 2017, did, did you think he'd still be elite all these years later? That man has had a two-decade-long prime rate. I had no idea how much longer this guy's going to be able to do it. But with LeBron, it's just different. His longevity is special. Free throw is good. 
The 2022-23 season, a remarkable year in the remarkable career of LeBron James. Yes, Kev, he became the all-time leading scorer. It was a moment in league history that we all got to share in, and I was in the building. Nothing speaks to the longevity of James's reign like that record. And both free throws good for LeBron. So, Greg, when you think about the Phoenix Suns, what do you think fuels them the most? Kevin, I mean, the fact that they had a 2-0 lead in the 21 NBA Finals and lost, this team is really battling to get back to that stage. And if they do, they want to take care of business this time. Crafty play by Booker inside, navigating to a point-blank look at the basket. Outside, Russell. There's the screen. There's the pass to Reeves. Now here's LeBron from downtown. A shot's good on the assist by Prince. Prince has got five assists tonight. I like how fast Bond makes decisions, reading the defense ahead of time, rising and shooting with confidence. Booker, no good. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 10-2 run here. Russell passes to Reeves. Russell against Beal. And Russell gets it to go. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Now here's Durant. He has six. Now Booker from 13. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Break their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking. Back to LeBron. Prince outside. Pass to Davis. It's hauled in by the Suns. 13 feet away. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got four rebounds now tonight. Reeves the pass to Russell. Here's Reeves. Schemati at 14. Davis finds Russell. He's looking for LeBron and finds him. From past the arc. And Russell with the basket on the assist by LeBron. And it's a four-point Laker lead. A developing shot maker. I'm a fan of Russell's unwavering commitment to his craft. Beal, the pass to KD. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Throw it high and watch Davis fly. Wow. And here are the Suns now. Hooker the pass to Eubanks. Beal gets a wide open look. Hits the jumper in space. That's 12 points for Bradley Beal. After failing to get going in the first quarter, he's looked much better here in the second. Outside, Russell. Prince, outside, from 15 feet away. That shot misses. Really thought he had this one, and the defense, they were giving it to him. LeBron against KD. Back to Beal. Over Russell, and it's Phoenix scoring again. And there's not an area on the floor where Beal can't do damage. He is a handful for any defense he goes up against. Now here's LeBron. 12 points for him. And that one's good by Davis. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. As to Beal. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Here's Okoge. He's guarded by Russell. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. James against Durant. Back to LeBron. LeBron! Oh! Wow. 
second and there's the foul and it's on Torian Prince that is his first foul of the game and the Suns making a change here Nurkic has checked in there's a minute 47 left in the second quarter Nurkic setting the pick for KD there's the triple from Durant and sports may be the ultimate meritocracy. Uh, does it matter where you're from, uh, Greg, your background? Well, you got to have game, right? Kevin, it's a beautiful thing. Some players grew up with a father in the NBA. Others were a world away. Either way, when you get here, you know you don't know. And that one's good by Davis. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Booker. He's got 20. Outside, KD. Another three for Phoenix. And that makes it two three-pointers in the quarter so far and four for the game. James looking it over. Russell finds James. Up again. And it's KD with the rebound. With the floater, that shot off. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Russell, great D that time from Beal. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. No good from Durant. Los Angeles has gone three or four with the long range bombs here in the second quarter. LeBron outside. Great D that time from Nurkic. So a tie game here as we finish the first half. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Kevin, how did you get in that groove offensively in the first half? Well, I'm just playing off of my teammates. They're doing a great job of penetrating and kicking. And I'm not trying to force anything. I'm playing my game with an offense, and shots are starting to fall for me. Looks good out there so far. Thanks, Kevin. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. All right, fellas, back in your playing days, what was your favorite city to eat in? Whatever city Kenny was in, I'd go steal his lunch, and we'd beat his team on the court the same night. But wait, just for the record, that never happened. And turning our attention back to this game, guys, LeBron James had his fingerprints all over that first half. He's been creating a lot of offense. You look at all the assists he has, doing a great job of making plays for others, not just himself. And he can also score the basketball. What, what else do you want this guy to do? He was incredibly aggressive in the first half. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. 
Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, and it's Prince in at the three. That's the Laker five. The Lakers trail. Now, here is Russell. Russell is screen on Durant. James in the post. KD's on him. Smooth finish inside by LeBron. And this should come as no surprise. LeBron James is a ridiculous scorer, but this man also knows how to get cooking. And Booker takes to Beal. He's feeling it. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Booker's got his fourth assist in this one. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Now, here is Russell. Now the pass to Davis. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Phoenix has gotten the three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Nurkic just screen on Russell. Pulls from the top of the key. And the Suns tack on two more. A clean start to the half for them. Knocking down their first three shots. Prince outside. Outside, Russell fires the three. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. And I like when Russell plays with pace. So that was a good shot in rhythm. And that can get him going. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. And this has been a nice start to the second half. They're three out of four in a rhythm on the offense right now. Suns have gone three of four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. It's stolen by Davis. And it's the Lakers on the break by himself. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with force. Look, and you can't forget about Davis' lane. He uses it well to grab steals. Outside Beal. They double-team Beal. For three, a Kobe. Phoenix, no good that time either. Los Angeles leading by three. Greg, I'm sure their coach is very pleased with their offensive flow right now. I mean, it's harder than it looks to get it going like this. Now they just have to maintain it. Now Beal, after LeBron's three-pointer that didn't go. Durant for three. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Booker's got five assists tonight. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Well, once upon a time, Kevin Durant said he was tired of being second. Now, some thought he was chasing clout, but he clarified it, saying, I just lost in the finals. It wasn't about, I want to be the best ever. I don't care about that. I want to wake up every day and do what I do. If we win, I know that comes with me being the best that I can be. Kevin? David, I love the fact he is focused on the process. And thank you for giving us that report. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Prince in the post. He's guarded by Nurkic. Here's Davis. Shoots over KD. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Kevin Durant. What separates AD from most big men is he's just got every tool at his disposal, and he knows exactly when to use them. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Had a success rate from the line last year of about 78%. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. RJ, the Suns have been to the playoffs three of the last four years. Kevin, they have a star-studded roster led by Beal, Booker, and KD. They are going to be a problem in the West for years to come. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And with Davis, you know what you're getting. A nightly double-double threat and a versatile defender. Here's Booker. Plays it up and banks it in. Booker's got four points now in the quarter. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. LeBron outside. 
Back to Russell. That one, no good. Great D that time from Nurkic. Russell against Booker. Fires from deep. The rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number eight now on the night. Yeah, no triples for him here in the second half. One fell in the first, though. Can he turn it up? A fadeaway. Los Angeles with another miss. Even though he had space, there is never an easy fadeaway. What a shot by Durant! And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spaces. Yeah, and you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. James finds Russell. And here is Davis. Shoots over Nurkic. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Nurkic has got seven rebounds in the game. Inside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And now it's a three-point Phoenix lead. Russell against Booker. Russell sets a screen for James. And again, no good by the Lakers. Phoenix has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Here's a Kobe, defended by Prince. Here's the teardrop. A Kobe misses. Los Angeles has gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. Here's Reeves. He's got seven. Lakers working the ball around now. LeBron kicks to Prince. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. LeBron's got his ninth assist in the game now. The Suns have gone seven of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. Outside, Beal. They double-team Beal. For three, a Kogi. Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. James finds Davis. Nice D from Durant. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. And a chance here to see the numbers for Davis. Last season, he played outstanding. He was around 26 points per game. 12 rebounds and just over two blocks. And he's such a presence for them inside. No question. He blocks shots, controls the glass, does everything asked of him and more. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. LeBron James going to the free throw line. Let's just say it's not his most accurate of positions, but hey, even players like him got to have things they need to work on. Vanderbilt's checked in for Austin Reeves. And the Suns also making a change. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Josh Akogi. And James drills them both. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. LeBron against Booker. Now the dish to KD. Here he goes. And then Durant with the jam. Durant too quick off the drive. Easy dunk for KD. Prince outside. Passes to Vanderbilt. And they double up Russell. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. And how about the incredible timing? on that alley-oop. He absolutely hammered it down. Here's KD. Second shot opportunity. Rebound the Lakers. Prince outside. Pass to Vanderbilt. Russell feeling it out a bit. And finished off by Davis. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. Suns trail by four. Outside, Beal. Nurkic kicks to Booker. Booker 
Here is the 2K leader boy with last season's top passing team. Fourth, the Sun. Ball movement was one of the keys to what they did last season. Every squad Three, talks two, about teamwork. These guys seven, backed four. it up. That's the line for two. Shooting two. And he makes the first. One of the best scorers in the game. Booker is a volume shooter who also plays with a ton of confidence. Hachimura, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Gabe Vincent comes in for James. Both free throws good from Booker. For Los Angeles, they've gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. Hachimura, the pass to Vincent. Davis with a screen on Booker. Vincent, the bounce pass. Here's Davis. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Davis has got the lead up to four now for the Lakers. Great balance and concentration there from Davis, getting it to go through the contact. They double team Beal for three. Gordon, that's good. And so Beal with the assist. Gordon's got his second basket of the night. Russell against Beal. Pass to Hachimura. Over Gordon. It's hauled in by Gordon. Phoenix has gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Talking about Bradley Beal, Greg, I feel like he doesn't get enough credit for his passing game. You know, Kevin, he's really evolved as a playmaker over the years. Sure, we, we all know how talented a scorer and shooter he is, but Bradley is now superb at facilitating. That puts them in the lead. Booker's got 28 points for the game. Calls the play and Booker executes to perfection. Timeout called the Lakers. He's checked in for D'Angelo Russell. Bull, bull. He's checked in for the Suns. The Lakers trail. Benson with it. He has five. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one is on ball. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yeah, in a moment, now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Phoenix. All game long, they've been making it rain from the arc. And look, they've done it by feeding the hot hands. They took what the defense gave them tonight, and that was the mid-range. I mean, very consistent from that part of the floor. A free throw drops for Vincent. Lewis checked in for the Lakers. And 
so he makes both from the line. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. On the pass to KD. No good from outside. The Lakers in the lead. Now Vincent, seven points in the game. Davis with a screen on Beal. Outside Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. Oh, and everything is going AD's way. He is in that zone and scoring at a terrific pace. Now here's Booker, and he has 28 points for the game. Dishes it to Bowl. On the wing, Gordon. Five to shoot. Bowl setting the pick for Gordon. Shoots over Hachimura. Makes it out to Booker. Bowl a screen on Lewis with three. Booker, offensive rebound. Goes up again. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Two points. That one goes. And it's a five-point Los Angeles lead. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. Hits it from three-point range. KD's got 25 points in the game. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter especially. Passes it to Vincent. And it's Durant with the rebound. Durant's got six rebounds here tonight. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the third. He nails it, and we're tied up. KD's got 13 points in the second half. Shots are just flowing from him right now, having a really strong quarter. Here's Vincent. Great D that time from Beal. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. And here is Lewis. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. Nice effort from Booker, making things hard on the shooter. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Lakers. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And meanwhile, Frank Vogel talking to his team. Okay, our offense will come and go. Okay, our defense has got to be the constant. Okay, we keep getting stops. The way we score the basketball, okay, this will be our game. Frank Vogel driving home the idea that defense, not offense, defense is the key to taking control of the game. Yes, the effort you put into your defense is something within your control. That's why he wants them to focus on that. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. So with Durant sitting on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. We've got Gordon. He's out there with Devin Booker. And it's a Kogi in at the small forward position. Lakers shooting at 50% in a decent groove. James against Gordon. Loads it up for Davis. And in front of L.U. Jam. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Now here's Gordon. Feeds it to Booker. And Davis sends it back. A big block from the big fella, Anthony Davis. Putting every inch of that 7'8 wingspan to work there. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. Outside Gordon. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Vanderbilt's got rebound number eight now on the night. Davis sets a screen. 
pass to Hachimura. Here is Davis. Eubanks defending. Davis dishes to James. And they double up LeBron. And it's Davis with the jam. Every time this man gets an assist, it feels like every other night he just moves up the all-time leaderboard. It's the Eubanks. He kicks it to Gordon. And Davis sends it back. And he's able to get it back. Plenty of daylight on that shoot. Bates Diop's got his first three points of the game. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Davis setting the pick for James. Driving in, takes the 12-footer and hits. And the Lakers lead by five. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. They set the pick for three. Booker, the Lakers with the rebound. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. James finds Vincent. Here's Davis. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. He's just so savvy at drawing fouls. Davis gets to the line almost as much as anyone. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for Los Angeles. Look, they're getting good looks inside. It's been a point of emphasis all night long, but I love this hard-nosed attitude of this team. And you can't ignore their passing. All game long, they've done a great job of just delivering the ball in rhythm right where it needs to be. And that one misses. Los Angeles making a switch here. Russell's checked in, and Phoenix also making a switch. Allen's checked in. It's the second from the line. He's got his aggressiveness, wanting to get to the line more and doing just that. And the Suns call time here. in for Davis. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. During that break, Frank Vogel had some real words for his team. I begged his players to keep it simple out there. I told him one possession at a time. Don't look at the scoreboard. What's most important is running our plays and being aggressive defensively. We'll see if they can follow that game plan. Guys? Thank you, David. Suns trail by six. Now here's Booker, lets the three fly, and the Suns miss again. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Here's Vincent. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Vincent's got the lead up to nine now for Los Angeles. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. James against Gordon. That shot off. Great D that time from James. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 12-3 run. 
trying to find Wood. Gets it to him. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Yusuf Nurkic. He's checked in for Phoenix. Little comes in for Gordon. That's the last to run. Christian Wood. With the size and athleticism and the potential that he showed at the college level, it was mind-blowing that Christian Wood went undrafted. Now here's Booker over Russell. Good on that shot. With that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Booker. The Lakers on offense. They're on a 15-5 run. And stolen by Booker. And now it's Allen running. He can go all the way. No dice from nine feet out. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. And they double up James. The pass to Vanderbilt. Takes the three. Rebounded by Allen. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Passes it to a Kogi. Six on the shot clock. Nurkic a screen on LeBron. Going inside. And the rejection by James. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Some changes for Phoenix. Durant checked in for Nasir Little. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Booker. Durant just inside the line. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. And it's the Lakers' ball. They're on a 15-5 run here. Pass to LeBron. Again, the miss by the Lakers. Suns trail by 10. And Beal kicks to KD. Allen outside. Down low. Intercepted. James against Allen. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Upside Beal. Here's Nurkic, and finished off by Nurkic. And just a massive player. Nurkic's combination of size and strength helps him on that offensive glass. Los Angeles calls timeout. Richard, it's absolutely amazing what Durant can do on the floor on a consistent basis. He's got the height and the size to play inside, the skill to run the offense. He's just a freak out there.
Angeles with some changes. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Wood, and it's Prince in for Vincent. And the Suns making a change here as well. Gordon's checked in for Josh Akogi. against Russell. Prince the pass to LeBron. Los Angeles with another miss. And imagine how good they'll look if he can start to chip in a bit more offensively. To the middle. Here's Durant. The rebound by the Lakers. Vanderbilt's got 11 rebounds in the game. James finds Davis. Great D that time from Nurkic. Suns trail by eight. Gordon, the pass to Allen. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Allen's got his first bucket in this one. For Los Angeles, they've gone six of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. James against Allen. Nurkic with the steal. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Gordon inside, working on Prince. Durant, the rebound by James. LeBron's got six rebounds here tonight, pass to Vanderbilt. And they double up LeBron. They need this one, and another assist for him. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Phoenix with the ball. It's Beal on the wing. From outside, off the mark. The D has to respect his range. He made two in the first half. He's capable of dreaming even more here in the second quarter and beyond. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. And it's Davis finishing it off. Well, taking it to the rack with the power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Side Beal back to Gordon. Kicks to Durant. Sinks the triple. KD's got 16 points here in the second half. He's been a bright spot in their play today, but he could really use some help. And there's the pass to Vanderbilt. Screened by Russell. Up top for Vanderbilt. He dishes it to Davis. Out the basket. Davis has got 11 points in the quarter. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Beal against Russell. High post, Nurkic. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Lakers leading by nine. Loads it up for Davis. Tipped away. Outside Russell. This one for three. They get it back. Wins outside. Here's Davis. My shot's good on the assist by Prince. Prince has got six assists here tonight. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Now here's Allen. And Beal kicks to Allen. Beal against Russell. Back to Allen. Kicks it out to Gordon. Just four to shoot. Puts it up. The rebound by Prince. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yeah, no way to describe it. Just ugly, and that hasn't helped. Pass to Davis. And the shot goes in. Davis has got the lead up to 13 now for the Lakers. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. This is what you expect from him, just coming alive and dominating in effortless fashion here in the fourth. Phoenix calls timeout.
has checked in for Los Angeles. Phoenix also making some changes. The Kogi's checked in for Gordon. And it's Booker in for Allen. Here is Durant. Here's Booker. The basket good off the assist from Durant. 32 points for Devin Booker. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help this team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this game. He's just stretching them out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. And the lack of defensive pressure on shots like that is a big reason they're down by double digits. That one's in there. The Lakers lead has got down to just 12 points with the basket from Booker. The top scorers in the league, guys like Booker, they get buckets when it's hard. Now here's LeBron. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Reeves. Again, the Lakers. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. A nice shot by Booker. Soft touch. Booker finding his spot, just floating it in. Lakers leading by 12. Russell passes to Jane to the inside. Vanderbilt, a good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Vanderbilt's got five points in the quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. For three, Booker, offensive rebound. Jurkic can hit. The way, Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone contributing. Oh, man, for whatever reason, he can't get it going from three, and he's pretty good from there. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Lakers. The one area that stands out that we've seen tonight from them, their aggressiveness in getting steals, something I know that you really value yourself. I think it sparked their offense. Uh, it deflates the opposition, and when you have the type of effort we saw tonight, it's pretty hard to overcome that defensive pressure down the stretch. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Davis. He did all the dirty work that they needed, clearing out space underneath and securing rebounds. Outside, Russell. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easy. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. 